You think about that now, says he, his empty eyes shining at me. A fitting tribute, sir, says I, to a blight on the country. And sure, sir, man, that music is grand. But you must admit, sir, that the subject is a light and easy one. But begging your pardon, sir, but look, have you never tried something with a bit more meat to it? Something closer to your heart, maybe. Well, I feared he'd flare up as before and set to fling in the blisters. But he just smiled and he says, Ah, maybe I will one day, McCabe. <laughs> sure no, man. Maybe I will. I says he, but it's turning chill now, and the heart doesn't care for the rain. Lead me in like a good fellow. And so that we rose up and he took my arm, and we began to make our way towards Grand Alderford House. But before we arrived there, he must have felt me hesitate. For I remember he said, You're welcome here, Mr. Charles McCabe. You're welcome, man. For you are with me.